Hi guys and welcome back. Today I'm going to show you how to use your leftover strawberries or your fresh strawberries and turn them into a strawberry filling for your cakes or a strawberry compote that could be used for a variety of different things. We're going to start with some strawberries that I already washed. I actually had a and some cornstarch and some sugar, but I had these strawberries from a strawberry order um, this week. And, you know, I pulled out all of the bigger, pretty ones to dip. And these are all the smaller ones that I didn't use. And so I didn't want to waste them. And I know we weren't going to eat them fast enough. So I decided to turn them into this strawberry filling that you can use for cakes. You can use for cake jars, which I'm going to show you at the end how to use it for a strawberry shortcake cake jar. You can put these on type of ice cream, toast, on top of your pancakes, in your drinks. It is just such a delicious strawberry syrup and it's homemade. And so you don't have to worry about all the extra ingredients because it's literally only three ingredients. So like I said, I've already pre-washed these and now I'm just cutting all the stems off of them. We're not gonna use that part. And then we're gonna get these into a pot and we're gonna cook these down to make our compote or our whatever you call it. If you call it compote, if you call it filling or syrup. So now we're going to get these on the stove and we're going to cook them on a medium heat and we're going to cook them for maybe about five minutes and you'll see the juice from the strawberries starting to come out and then we're going to add two teaspoons of sugar just regular white sugar and then we're going to add one teaspoon of cornstarch and we're going to let this all cook down as you can see it's on medium like i said and it maybe took about 15 minutes and you can cook it as long as you want i like mine chunky so i cook mine to that consistency but you absolutely could have cut your strawberries up smaller and made it more of like a jam or a jelly but i like mine's more on the chunkier side so now i'm going to transfer this over into a mason jar and this is only so it can cool you can put yours in a bowl or whatever you want but since i store mine in these mason jars um, because they are airtight i'm just going to get into the mason jar and leave the top off of it and just let it cool for about 20 or 30 minutes before i'm ready to start working with it so now our filling is all cooled as you can see it looks like a jam it looks like a very chunky strawberry jam but it's homemade and so i did use some of this on a cake that i was working on and there you see i just have it in the middle and now i'm going to show you guys how to use it and also use like some leftover cake or cupcakes to create these cake jars Now we're just going to remove our cupcakes from the liners and we're going to cut them in threes. If you guys remember from my cake shooter videos, we're going to cut these cupcakes the exact same way that we did in those videos. If you did not see my cake shooter video, I will link both of them below. So now I have these plastic 12 ounce jars that I will link below and we're going to get the, the one piece of that cupcake down into the bottom and since it is a little bit smaller than the actual um, jar I just got an extra piece down there you want to make sure that your layers when you're doing these type of parfait cups and jars and things like that where you can see through them you want to make sure that um, each layer actually touches the side of the container and that's how you'll see the different layers on the outside because if you don't get your layer all the way to the actual sides of the container you won't be able to see the clear 
um, layer. So you see how you can see the cake and then you see the strawberry filling and then you see the white icing. So I'm going to dust my buttercream. I will link that recipe below. I also did a video on that. And so now I'm just getting more pieces of cake. And like I said, I'm just making sure it touches the sides all the way around. So no matter which angle you look at the cake jar, you'll see cake. So you can clearly see that there's cake that there's the strawberry mixture in there, that there's buttercream in there, and you can see all the different layers. And it makes it more appetizing. And although they're not perfectly neat, you still can see what's in them and you're not hiding any of the ingredients. So it won't be a surprise when people actually um, dig into them. And these are pre-made strawberry crumbles from Yum Crumbs. I will link a coupon code below that you can um, order those from that company. And on top, I'm just getting a little bit more of my strawberry syrup. And there we have it our strawberry shortcake cake jar you see how you can see the cake you can see the buttercream you it just looks very appetizing and they'll know um for the most part what is in the jar before they actually eat it and this is how the little jars look with the top on it perfect sweet 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 love.